Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques that help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jen Gianni here, and I wanted to talk to movement instructors like myself again about becoming better nasal breathers. So I think this is such a, a topic that should be top of mind for us because we're always projecting our voice, we're always talking, um, that's what we do for a living. And so that's creating um, mouth breathing, right? It's creating our intolerance to carbon dioxide and that's not good for us, right? We want to create a tolerance of carbon dioxide. And you know, if you look at books like Oxygen Advantage or Jane Nestor's Breathe. A lot of this information is in there and you can get more and more exercises, but this is something that's really crucial for us as movement instructors, that when we're not eating, when we're not talking, when we're not teaching, that we really pay attention to becoming a better nasal breather, right? This is gonna create more longevity, um, and keep us happier as we grow older. It's gonna keep our respiratory system really strong. So this next um, exercise that I wanna give you, and it's kind of an add-on to the previous video, is, um, and this, is, this comes from the Oxygen Advantage, so you can look at that book and find more detail about it. So you can do this when you're just standing still, which would be the easiest, or sitting down. Um, or you could do it when you're on a walk, which would be more advanced, right? So I, I do this one often when I'm on a walk, and I think all my neighbors think I'm a little strange, but that's okay. So you want to get to a place where you can exhale, and at the end of that exhale, you're going to pinch off your nostrils, and then you're going to try to see how long you can go um, before you have to unleash your nostrils and take another breath. Now, that length of time when you pinch off your nostrils, you don't want it to be torture and that you're just struggling with yourself. You want to see how long can you go with your nostrils pinched off, holding your breath, and still be calm. And when you get to the end of that, then you let your nose go and you take a breath in. So when you start to practice this, most people can't do it for very long. And when they do let go of their nose, they have to open their mouth and take a big breath. But eventually what you want to see happening is that you can exhale, close off your nostrils, hold your breath, be nice and calm, and then when you feel like your body is saying, okay, enough, you let go of your nose, you keep your oral posture of the tongue on the roof of the mouth and the teeth lightly together as you take that breath, right? Eventually, you're not opening the mouth and gasping for air, right? So give it a try, and again, first you can do it seated, easiest. You could even do it on your back, very easy. Um, standing, and then more difficult when you're on a walk. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject, or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. See you next time, and never stop learning.